Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for interpreting box plots, sheet three. This, of course, is from MathSalamanders.com. Make sure to check out MathSalamanders. They have amazing math resources and worksheets. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You need to know about mean, median, mode, range, kind of central tendency data analysis before starting this, but I'm going to give you a little bit of background just in case. So if we're looking at this, before we even get to the questions, I want to talk about looking at this graph, what, is it, what does it mean? So down here, this is just our data set right here. These are all the possible values that our data set could fall into. So this particular one is rainfall. So over here, this would be 15 inches of rainfall in a year. And then this would be 60 inches in a year. I think it's yearly, yes, annual. So that's just uh, how to read those numbers. Then if we're looking at the graph, we can see that this is our minimum. We're just going to call it min. This one over here is our max, our, our biggest value. And then this is very important. This is called our median. So the median is, let's say we have a bunch of numbers here, just in case you're not aware. Six, we'll do seven. The median is the number that's in the middle. Okay, So there's other ways of classifying the central point of the data and median is a very popular one especially for box plots it's going to be used right here is something called q1 this is q3 and i'm going to talk about what that means in a second but one thing before i even start i do want to talk about is this box right here represents where 50 percent of the data lies so 50 percent of the data is in this box that means between the numbers looks like 24 and 40 one. So here's 24, there's 41. 50% of the data, meaning if we're talking about states and rainfall, gets 50% of the states get 24 to 41 um, inches of rain each year. Therefore, what does this area and this area mean? Those both are 25%. So 25 plus 50 plus 25 equals 100. 100% of the data falls within those spaces. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The median rainfall in the US, we can see where that is, is 30 inches. Okay, and that's just reading it off the, uh, off the line there. That line in the middle of the box is the median. The state with the highest rainfall recorded, and looks like this is 50, I think that's 59, 59 inches. Okay, so 59 inches, that's the max. Say highest equals max. The data is skewed to the left, skewed to the right, or symmetric. Okay, so. If we're looking at our median, that's where the middle is, right? So if it's not centered around that median, then it's skewed in one way or the other. In this case, we see that it is skewed to the right. Think about like this box shifting left to right. Let me help you with an outline. So I'm going to make this box here. Okay, so it's moved. If I shift it this way, okay, most of the data is to the left of the median. But if I move it this way, most of the data is to the right of the median. In this case, it's just a little bit to the right, but it's still skewed to the right. Most of the, that 50% is to the right of the median. So we're going to say it's skewed to the right. Okay. I changed colors, but that's all right. The range in the rainfall data is blank inches. So this is where we take our max. Range is equal to the max minus the min. Okay, so we're going to take our max, which is 59 and we're going to subtract 16 and that's going to give us our range. So our range here is going to be what is that? 43 inches. Okay? So 43 inches is just 59 minus 16 and that is 43. So we're at 43 inches for our range. Okay? So uh, from between the minimum and the max is 43 inches. That's the difference between the smallest and the biggest number. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. About 25% of states have rainfall that is less than blank inches. This is what we're talking about, I was alluding to earlier. We're talking about this space right here. This is the bottom 25%. Okay, each one of these different periods, I said this beginning 25, 50, 25. This is the bottom 25%. Okay, so it's between it's less than 24 inches, and that's why I wrote this down right here. That's our Q1. First quartile, quartiles are 25%.
about 25% of the states have rainfall that is more than, this is going to be our Q3. You're probably wondering, why did I go from Q1 to Q3? It's because our Q2 is what we call our median. So this is 41 inches. Okay, 25% of states get more than 41 inches. And the interquartile range of rainfall. So we talked about range, max minus min. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so Q3 minus Q1 is just 41 minus 24. And I think that's 17, right? 41 minus 24, and that's going to be 17 inches. All right, I think that's the last question. All right, cool. Now we're moving on to another box plot. So now that you have the basics, this one should be a little bit easier. So here we have the median number of points scored was, okay, so this would be what, six, that looks like 63 points. Okay, so median, here's my median, and that looks to be about 63 points. The highest scoring player, highest means max, and that's over here, and that looks like 87 points. The range of points scored, so now we do 87, that's our max, minus our min, our min's over here, that's 40, so that looks like 47 is our range. Most of the players scored more than 65 points. Okay, so let's look. If we're looking at 65 points, here it is. Notice how it's to the right of the median. So I know from the median down is 50%, okay? And then from the median to the right is 50%. This point right here is, let me draw, this should help, okay? a little bit to the left of the median. Therefore, this is 50% plus, we'll just call it an arbitrary 5% is to the left, less than 50%. So most of the players did not score more than 65 points. This is less than 50% because that 50% goes all the way there. And this is less than that point. So that is false. More players did not score uh, it's more than 65 points. Okay, so that is kind of a tricky thing, kind of like uh, that other part we talked about with the skewed right or left. Okay, this is also a little bit, <clears throat> pardon me, a little bit tricky. All right, so the data is skewed left, right, or is it symmetric? So look here. It looks to be just about symmetric. So this is like 71. That looks like 54. That is going to be directly in between those two. And we can find that exactly by subtracting, but it is pretty darn symmetric. The interquartile range. So for this one, we're doing our Q1, which is 71, minus our Q, or that was Q3 I did, minus our Q1, which is, it looks like 54. And that looks to be about, I think it's 17 also, isn't it? 17. Okay, so now about 75% of the players scored more than 71 points. So if we're talking about more than 71 points, we're in our Q3 up. We know that's only 25%, so that is clearly false. That's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.